Good morning! It's here! It's the day of play. I'm so excited. My name is Josh, and I really, I'm so excited to welcome you all to the day of play at Chicago Public Library. And you know what? Let's kick it all off. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it, but let's kick it off with a fun a song um, just to get our brains moving, our bodies moving, and get in action. Are you ready? All you have to learn is four things. Alive. Awake. Aware. And then get your legs down here. Enthusiastic. Right? Enthusiastic. Are you ready? I'm going to go super slow. You can go along with me while we do it. Ready to kick off day of play? We are alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Ready? Alive, awake, aware, aware, awake, alive, alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Awesome! And if you can't snap or do any of the other actions, it's fine. Make up your own actions um, or just as sing along as you want. All right, ready? We're going to try it a little bit faster. <sighs> shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Alive, awake, aware. Aware, awake, alive. Alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. <laughs> awesome! Did you do it? All right. You know what? I don't want to spend too much time on this. We've got lots of more fun stuff to do today, but we've got to do it once more. Turbo speed. You ready? You ready? <laughs> shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Uh, alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Alive, awake, aware, aware, awake, alive. Alive, awake, aware, enthusiastic. Woo! All right. If I lost you there, don't worry about it. You can practice on your own time, and you can even make up your own words if you want, now that you know it. Well, so again, welcome you all to Chicago Public Library and our day of play. At Chicago Public Library, we love play. We're all about learning and discovery. And, you know, play is your brain's favorite way to learn and discover new things. It's true. Um, you know what else we love at Chicago Public Library? Our wonderful Chicago Public Library Foundation, which makes this whole thing possible and has provided funding for Day of Play. Thank you so much, the Chicago Public Library Foundation. You know, I get excited about play because, uh, in a way, play is having this special time, or maybe maybe a special group of people, maybe a special space for you to all agree you can break the rules a little bit, you know, in a safe way, maybe in an interesting way or like a fun or really super silly way. Uh, and in that spirit of breaking the rules a little bit, uh, I'm going to play a song to lead in here as well. Uh, and you can listen for when I'm breaking the rules of the song just a little bit. I'm sure you'll recognize it. You are my pancake, my only pancake. You make me pick up when skies are gray. Pick up, pick up. You'll never know, dear, how much I snorkel. Please don't take my pancake away. <laughs> yeah! So you just see what I did. It's just you are my sunshine. But uh, I changed a bunch of the words, just whatever popped into my head. And here's the secret. Any song you know, the you are my sunshine, to like your favorite Lady Gaga track, to like you, Queen Elsa's uh, big number, um, is uh, is something that you can play with now. And you can change the words and make it your own and just goof around with you, with your family, with your friends. Um, I'm going to try it one more time. Again, I'm just right off the top of my head. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> you are my spiders, my lonely spiders. You make me blow my nose on the day of play. <laughs> You'll never know, dear, how much I eat tacos all the time. Oh, please don't take my spiders away. Yay! <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> well, you know, I'd love to also hear, I'm sure you've got a funnier version, even better lyrics and a great version of You Are My Sunshine or your own favorite song. You could totally put throw the lyrics for your song in the comments here. Um, you can also, I want to encourage you to comment all day on our programs here on Facebook. Um, also go back to our website, chipublib.org. You can find the day of play page and um, there's a form to submit. You tell us how you're playing today and you get entered. If you submit something, you get entered to uh, for the chance to win a prize, which is a super cool play set. Uh, there's the URL right there. Um, and uh, Check out our site. That page there too has a ton of like online resources and other activities and cool stuff about play and books and games you can play. Uh, absolutely have fun with that. Um, uh, also, you know, um, aside from the virtual stuff today, we totally have physical grab and go kits you can actually pick up from your neighborhood branch. Um, and so you can always, when they're open, go by and see if there's some, it's a, like a bag you can just get from the library branch and take home and play with at home. Uh, and, um, if you, uh, they're getting new and different grab and go kits all the time. So check out what they got. Um, there's so much great stuff coming up today. Aside from the segment right now, we have another time you can tune in at 1230 at two o'clock and at four o'clock. Um, lots of great, a bunch of our wonderful librarians are gonna be doing some fun stuff with you. We have Urban Initiatives joining us today. Thank you to them. And Chicago Park District, thank you so much. Also, we have the incredible Scribble Monster doing some music fun with you all in the 12.30 and four o'clock segments. And at two o'clock, we have Story Pirates joining us here at Chicago Public Library. Uh, for their story creation zone. So don't miss that. Um, thank you again to CPLF, the CPL Foundation. And uh, lots of people worked so hard to make this day possible and get all the technical stuff working right. So thank you to everybody. But you know what? The most important part of Day of Play is how you're playing today. So have a great day. Play uh, your way. And as always, comment and let us know and submit how you're doing it. All right. Uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Next up is Julia from our Thomas Hughes Children's Library. Thank you. Good morning, Julia. Good morning. Hi, Josh. Hi. Have so much fun. I can't wait. Thanks. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Miss Julia. I'm coming from the Thomas Hughes Children's Library, and we're gonna do a little story time this morning. Let's start off with a hello song. Can you show me? Can we wave hello? Let's see that hand wave. Ready? This is the way we wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. This is the way we wave hello, 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 hello. Good job, and while we're clapping, let's keep clapping those hands. This is the way we clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. This is the way we clap, hello, 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 hello. And we're gonna get our bodies moving. We are moving with Josh. We're gonna keep moving. Let's stomp those feet. This is the way we stomp, hello, stomp, hello, stomp, hello. This is the way we stomp, hello, 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 hello. Very good, hello, and welcome to Day of Play. It's all so exciting. We're gonna keep moving our bodies. We're gonna play Shake Your Sillies Out by Raffi. So if you can, give me a good shake. Let's shake those bodies back and forth, up and down, whatever you want to do. Let's get started. Ready? I got to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle my rattles away. And let's clap those hands again. I got to clap, clap, clap my crankies out. Clap, clap, clap my crankies out. Clap, clap, clap my crankies and wiggle my waggles away. And can you jump the highest you've ever jumped before? I'm gonna jump with you. I gotta jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. And wiggle my waggles away. And I know it's early, so let's stretch those sleepies that reach up high. Touch those toes. Oh, let's stretch. 
I got to stretch, stretch, stretch my sleepies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my sleepies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my sleepies out. And wiggle my waggles away. And we're going to shake one more time, the fastest you've ever shook before. Ready? I got to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. And wiggle my waggles away. Great job, everybody. Good movements. I wanted to get our sillies out before we read a book together. Let's see, put my ukulele down. I will sit with you. We are going to read Marta Big and Small by Jen Arena, illustrated by Angela Dominguez. And I'm reading this with permission from Roaring Book Brook Press. So we're going to read Marta Big and Small. And in this book, she plays with a lot of different animals. Ready? Marta is una niña. This is Marta. An ordinary girl, but she's surrounded by all of these animals. To a bug, Marta is grande. Big, very big. Can you make your bodies nice and big? You're big to a bug, aren't you? But to an elephant, Marta is pequeña, small, very small. Can you make your bodies nice and small? All right. To a horse, Marta is lenta, slow, very slow. What kind of noise does our horse make? Does he go, nay? <gasps> to a turtle, Marta is rapida. Fast, very fast. Can we run really fast in our seats? Run, 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 run. To a lion, Marta is tranquila. Quiet, very quiet. Shh. Look at that. He looks like he's roaring, right? But to a rabbit, Marta is ruidosa. Loud, very loud. Should we roar like our lion very loud? Ready, one, two, three, roar! To a snake, Marta is sabrosa. Uh-oh, tasty, very tasty. Oh no, what kind of noise does our snake make? Does he go, yes. Marta, donde estas, where are you? Uh-oh, there's her shoe and there's the snake. Phew! Marta, Marta is ingeniosa, clever, very clever. Hit up in that tree to stay away from that snake. Marta is loud like el león, quiet like el conejo, fast like el caballo, slow like la tortuga, big like el elefante, and small like el insecto. Wow, we can be all of those things too, right? We can be those when we're playing. We can act like those animals. And clever, very clever like una niña. The end. Thank you so much for listening to that story. Wasn't it fun seeing Marta play with all those animals? I thought it was. And we had some Spanish vocabulary in there too. All right. We are going to do a song from my song cube. We're going to see what song we're going to sing. We're going to shake, 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 shake. And we're going to sing the wheels on the bus. Wow. Can anyone show me how your wheels on the bus would go? Ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The doors on the bus, they open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus, they open and shut, all through the town. The babies on the bus go where, 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 where. Where, 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 the babies on the bus go, where, 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 all through the town. The parents on the bus go, shh, 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 shh. 
the parents on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Really wonderful job, everybody. I saw you doing those movements. It was awesome. We are going to move on to a little game. It's called Where's the Mouse? So we are going to grab our flannel board and we're going to go say hello to my friend Mouse. Can everyone say hi, Mouse? Hi, Mouse. He's going to blow you a little kiss. Ready? Mwah, mwah. Here's our mouse, and we're going to go through some shapes and colors, and then we'll get to the game part. I promise there's a fun game at the end. All right. So we're going to go through some shapes and colors. Here is, what is this? It's a circle. Can you make a circle with your arms? And what color is this? Yellow. It's our yellow circle, just like the sun. For a yellow circle. What color is this? Is that purple? And what shape is that? It has four sides. One, two, three, four. It's our square, our purple square. Let's see. We have, what color is that? Is that red? And it's what shape? One, two, three sides. It's our triangle, our red triangle. Can you make a triangle with your fingers? Bet you can. All right, let's move on. What shape is this? Is that a star? Like up in the sky? What color is that? It's a green star. Have you ever seen a green star before? Well, if you haven't, now you have. All right, put our green star up on the board. A few more shapes. What color is this? It is pink. I love the color pink. And what shape is that? It's a rectangle. It also has four sides, but it's longer than our square. Ooh, it's my favorite shape. What shape is this? Is that our heart? Our heart, and what color is that? Blue, our blue heart. Can you make a heart with your fingers? Just curl those tops. Yes, very good. Two more shapes, everybody. Let's see, we have our, what shape is that? Our diamond, and it is orange. I bet you could make a uh, diamond with your fingers. It's like our triangle, but you, you point the bottom end too. And last but not least, we have our oval, and that is black, our black oval. So we're going to count how many shapes we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight shapes. Can we count on our fingers? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's five and three, or we can do four and four. All right, here comes the game part. We're gonna close our eyes. Everyone close those eyes. We're gonna hide our friend, the mouse. Our mouse is gonna hide behind a shape, and we have to guess where he is. Everyone close your eyes. We're gonna hide our mouse really well. All right, so let's see, let's see. Our mouse is gone. Let's see. Does anyone have a guess of where our mouse could be? I don't know if you could tell me in the chat. Let's see. Let me, let's make, I'll make my first guess. Where do we think this mouse hid? Hmm. What about under the red triangle? Let's count to three. Ready? One, two, three. He's not there. Oh my goodness. Where else could our mouse be? Hmm, he seems to be hiding really well today. How about our heart, our blue heart? Can you make a heart with your fingers again? Let's count to three, ready? One, two, three. He's not there either. Oh my goodness, where is this mouse? Hmm, does anyone have any guesses out there? What do we think? What about under our Oval, our black oval. Let's count to three. Ready? One, two, three. He's not there either. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's count how many shapes we have left. We have one, two, three, four, five. Can we count that on our fingers? That's one, two, three, four, five. Can you give your grown up or your someone you're with a high five? Ready? I'll high five you. High five. All right, let's count. Let's look under one more shape. Let me think. Where else should we look? Let's look under 
the yellow circle. Everyone make a big circle with your arms and a smaller circle with your hands. All right, let's count to three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my goodness, there's our friend the mouse. You found him. Great job. Will you clap for yourselves? Give yourselves a round of applause. That was awesome. He hid really well today, but he was behind our yellow circle. That's right. All right, let's say bye to our mouse. Bye mouse, bye shapes. Wow, that was really cool. I think you all did a great job. Yeah, thank you too. All right, we're gonna do another song. It's called My Hands Like to Clap and we're gonna use our bodies again. So everyone, let's clap our hands. We're gonna do My Hands Like to Clap. Ready? My hands like to clap. My hands like to clap. When I hear the music, my hands like to clap. Can we now tap our toes? Can you tap those toes? Tap, tap, tap. My toes like to tap. My toes like to tap. When I hear the music, my toes like to tap. Very good. We clapped our hands. We tapped our toes. How about we nod our head? Let's get some head movement in there. Ready? My head likes to nod. My head likes to nod. When I hear the music, my head likes to nod. All right, let's move those shoulders up and down. My shoulders like to move. My shoulders like to move. My shoulders like to move. When I hear the music, my shoulders like to move. Then we're gonna sway our bodies. Our bodies like to sway. My body likes to sway. My body likes to sway. When I hear the music, my body likes to sway. Good job. Thank you for playing with me in that song. That was really awesome. We love to move our bodies, don't we? It's a great part of play. Um, I think actually we'll do one more song on the ukulele. This is my ukulele. If you have one at home, you should play with me. We're gonna do row, row, row your boat. If you don't have um, a ukulele, you can row your boat. Let's row back and forth with our oars. Can you do that with me? Very good. We're gonna sing it regular this time, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Great job. This time we're gonna row to the stream, but we're gonna see an alligator. What if you were rowing and you saw an alligator? Let's see. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see an alligator, don't forget to scream. Ah! Give a big old scream when you see that alligator. And this last one, we're going to go gently to the shore and we're going to see a lion there. And you have to guess, what does a lion say? We're going to say that at the end. Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion there, don't forget to roar. Ready? Roar. Great job. Really lovely, everybody. All right. Let's do one more song from my song cube. If you want to, you can shake, shake, shake with me while I shake my song cube. Ready? Shake, 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 shake. Wow, what are we going to sing? We're going to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider. <laughs> Thank you for the screams I saw. All right, let's do our itsy bitsy spider. You can do the spider like this. You can do the spider like this. You could even be the spider. Can you play like the spider crawling? Let's see. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and he dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Very nice. Let's try it one more time. Look, be the spider. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and he dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Very good, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this story time. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you continue to play today. Um, I think it's time to check out and see what Matt from Budlong Woods is doing. Let's see. 
Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? I'm very well, Miss Julia. How are you? You look like you had so much fun just now. I totally did. I'm sweating. I'm having a great time. So <laughs> I really can't wait to see what you're going to have for us today. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to share everything I've got today. Have a great time. I will, Miss Julia. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for joining us for Day of Play today. Again, my name is Mr. Matt. You might recognize me from Bud Longwoods Branch up in the Bud Longwoods neighborhood up north off Lincoln and Bryn Mawr. And today, I'm just so happy to be here. I think I have to sing a song about it. And some of you might know the song, too. So if you know it, come on, just kind of sing with me. And it goes a little bit like this. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here, here with us today. Hmm. What brought us here today? Hmm. Well, that's right. This whole day is all about the day of play. Day of play brought me here. Day of play brought me here. Sing it with me. Day of play brought me here. Day of play. <laughs> Thank you so very much for joining us. And hello, everyone that's saying hello today. It's so good to see your face. It's so good to see uh, some lively, playful, everything happening. So I have a bit of an unrelated question to ask everybody. And it's for later on. Um, keep that in mind. It's not going to happen just yet. But I want everyone to think a little bit about what their favorite breakfast is. Spend a couple, couple seconds thinking about that. Maybe what did you have for breakfast this morning? Was it your favorite breakfast? If you could have had your favorite breakfast this morning, what would it have been? Hmm. Or maybe have you had breakfast yet? What do you want to have for breakfast? All right, but enough about that. Uh, I see some waffles coming through and those sound delicious and cereal. Mm. So keep that in mind for later. Um, in the meantime, there's a really fun and playful story that I'd like to share with you that's one of my all-time favorite playful stories called Paco and the Drum by Matthew Forsythe. You share the same name? I swear it's not, you know, I'm not prejudiced or biased or anything. It's just a really good story and I'd like to share with you why. Paco and the Drum by Matthew Forsythe. The biggest mistake Paco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. Now, they had made many mistakes before. For example, the slingshot. Oh my. Has anybody ever been slung out of a slingshot quite like that? Whew. And the llama. There's a whole llama in that house. And oh, oh goodness. Oh goodness. Whose feet do you think are those? There's Paco. Who's that? Uh oh. Glad to see everyone loves this book so much. But the drum was by far the biggest mistake. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father. What? said her mother. The drum is too loud. I can't hear you. Oh dear. The drum was a big mistake, said her father again. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea, said her mother, who still couldn't hear what he was saying. The next day, her father said, Paco, why don't you take your drum outside for a little while? But don't make too much noise. We're just a little frog family that lives in a mushroom. And we don't like drawing attention to ourselves. Well, very well. Paco agreed. Paco agreed, and she set out as quietly as she could. Very quiet. Shh. Sneaking out of the house with a drum. It had just rained, and the forest was sparkling like an emerald. Ooh. And it was very, very quiet. Hmm. Too quiet. Paco started tapping on her drum. 
to keep herself company, but something stirred behind her. Everybody check behind you. Is there something behind you? Hmm, what could it be? A raccoon playing a banjo. Oh, oh, just a raccoon playing a banjo, naturally. Started following her. So Paco hit her drum even louder. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet started following them. But Paco kept playing her drum, keeping everybody to the rhythm, you know? And then a wolf who couldn't really play anything. That's okay, not all of us can, and that's okay. You can just very happy to be near the music, and that's great. The wolf joined right in, and Paco still played her drum. But then the wolf ate the rabbit. What? 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 Excuse me. Paco stopped playing her drum and faced the wolf and said, No, no more eating band members, or you're out of the band. So, none, none more of that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, said the wolf. And, and he meant it. He really did. And then they all started playing again. And soon there was a whole crowd of animals playing instruments. That's a whole marching band. And then a crowd of animals following them around, just enjoying the music. An audience, a marching band and a marching audience? Well, that sounds like a great idea. They were all following Paco. Wow, what a great drum player. Paco, shouted her father, your dinner's ready. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. What could it be? <gasps> the music grew louder. Oh dear. And then it grew even louder. And then the crowd swept through the house and carried Paco's parents off into the woods. Oh no, said her father. Oh dear, said her mother. Well, you know, I think that's Paco down in front, said her father. And you know what? What? Said her mother, who was just getting to the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. And no one could hear what they were saying at all. But if they could, they all would have agreed. Thank you so very much for sharing that wonderful, playful story with me all about Paco and her favorite drum and a whole band of people that just showed up to have fun with them. Isn't that just a great time? Josh earlier mentioned that there's day of play kits that you can pick up at your local branches. And I wanted to affirm that. So sure enough, here at Bud Long Woods branch, we still have a bunch of day of play kits that we can hand out. We had a really fun program just this past Thursday um, where a bunch of kids and their families showed up and we did a bunch of stacking games. We did a bunch of, um, oh gosh, what else did we do? Stacking games, um, it was a lot of stacking, but there was also some, we made some dice, uh, learned some things about dice. Um, it was a lot of fun. And thank you so very much uh, for those of you who showed up to Thursday's program. And if you weren't there for the Zoom program, that's okay, we've still got all these kits we can hand out. There's like a dozen or so, I think. Uh, so feel free to swing on by. Bud Longwoods for sure has a couple extra. And if you're interested in other kits, maybe just call your local library branch ahead of time to see if they've got a day of play kit sticking around for you. So one of my other favorite playful songs is something that my mother sang to me when I was very young. And it's all about this wacky little bird called a puffin. How many of you ever heard of a puffin? What even is that? So a puffin is a seabird. Despite having these really nice wings, I don't think it can actually fly, but it swims really well. And being a seabird, its main diet is fishes. So we're gonna sing a little song together. And we'll, I might sing it a couple times because hopefully you can learn it with me um, and we can sing it together. So this song is just called There Once Was a Puffin. 
and it's by originally uh, a poet named Florence Page Jacques. Um, and this book was one of my favorite books and one of my favorite songs growing up. So I'm gonna teach you the song, nice and slow. And we, um, we're gonna start with this here, Puffin. Oh, there once was a puffin just the shape of a muffin and he lived on an island in the bright blue sea. He ate lots of fishes that were so delicious and he had them for breakfast and he had them for tea. But this poor little puffin, he couldn't play nothing because he hadn't anybody to play with at all. Oh, that's so sad. So he sat on his island and he cried for a while. Oh gosh. And he felt very lonely and he felt very small. Oof. So Along came the fishes and they said, if you wishes, you can have us for playmates instead of for tea. So now they all play together in all kinds of weather. And instead of the fishes, the puffin has pancakes just like you and me. Oh, and they're all playing together on their island in the ocean. Well, hold on a second. Not everybody likes pancakes for breakfast, and that's okay. Pancakes aren't necessarily for everybody. So with that question I asked you earlier about what your favorite breakfast would be and what you might have had for breakfast, what would it be? What do you think the puffin and the fishes would have for breakfast as playmates? Hmm, I've been seeing a bunch of people putting um, comments and stuff in the chat, and I can see those. So if you want to see uh, a verse sung with your favorite breakfast for the puffins and the fish, throw them at me. Uh, I know that someone said waffles earlier, so I'll start with that. Um, hmm. Now they all play together in all kinds of weather, and the puffin eats waffles just like you and me. <laughs> And then pancakes was another really good one. That was, and we'll sing it again real quick. And hopefully you're catching on to the tune here. Now they all play together in all kinds of weather and the puffin eats pancakes just like you and me. Ooh, eggs is another really good one. Now they all play together in all kinds of weather and the puffin and the fish eat eggs just like you and me. Breakfast pie, now here's someone who's on my page. I love pie for breakfast. Everybody give yourself a big hug if you have pie for breakfast because that's a great breakfast. Now they all play together in all kinds of weather and the puffin eats pie for breakfast, just like you and me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so much fun? There's a lot of really great pie that you can have for breakfast. Fruits is a really great breakfast. Bread's a really good, great breakfast. Put it all together in the pie and suddenly you've got breakfast. <laughs> Ooh, apples are another good one. Now they all play together in all kinds of weather and the puffin eats apples just like you and me. If you think you've got a hold in the song, I'd love to share the book with you and you can sing along with me if you can. Feel free. I'll have the words up. Hopefully you can see it pretty well. Oh, sing it with me, everybody. There once was a puffin, just the shape of a muffin, and he lived on an island in the bright blue sea. He ate little fishes that were so delicious, and he had them, oh, for supper, ooh, and he had them for tea. Remember that part at the beginning where Josh said you can change songs however you want? You can tell I've already been doing that a bunch, can't you? But, oh no, remember where it got sad? <gasps> this poor little puffin, look at how sad he is. He couldn't play nothing for he hadn't anybody to play with at all. <sighs> so sad. We should all have playmates. So he sat on his island and he cried for a while. And who remembers how it goes next? 
he felt very lonely and he felt very small. Oh, that poor little puffin. <gasps> then along came the fishes and they said, if you wishes, you can have us for playmates instead of for tea. Now they all play together in all kinds of weather. Oh, what a place to go underwater if it's raining, right? Play in the lake, why not? And the puffin eats pancakes just like you and me. And there's that little muffin that the puffin's just shaped like, right? Well, hopefully you all had such a great time with uh, playful stuff today with puffins and fish. Puffins that used to eat fish, but then decided to have them for playmates instead of for tea. So um, now they play together and it's a great time. And then we had some drumming time and then we had some day of play time scheduled. And again, check in with your local library to see what kits are available there. Bud Longwoods has some for our local Bud Longwoods people. And I think it's gonna be time for me to say goodbye soon. One of my favorite ways to say goodbye is to say goodbye in other ways. One of my favorite other ways to say goodbye is Ciao, ciao everybody. If you know how to say goodbye in another language, feel free to say that now. Ciao everybody, or maybe adios, or sayonara. I'm gonna stick with ciao because that's one of my favorites. Ciao everybody, ciao ciao, ciao ciao ciao. I'm Colleen Lamble Harmon, and I'm the Senior Project Manager for Health and Wellness with the Chicago Park District. We are so excited to team up with Chicago Public Library on the Day of Play. What you're going to be seeing in the links that follow are different ways to stay active, some preview of what we're doing during Hollow Week, which is going to be different storytelling with Halloween themes, different fitness classes you can take with different Halloween themes, different recipes, and a bunch of ways to stay active and play. Today, I want to talk about the importance of physical activity and an initiative we have called Move Your Way. And what we're trying to do with the Park District is to encourage people to get 60 minutes of physical activity a day to prevent chronic disease. You can break it up, so you don't have to do all 60 at once. So what I encourage you all to do today is pick up a book and read. And on your reading break, take 10 minutes of physical activity. Do that three to six times and you got your 60 minutes a day. Another way to stay active while reading is to actually be active with your book. Act out the scene. Grab a friend, be creative, and either put a book together or read one out and play with that. You can put your moves together, you can move them around, or again, create your own story. So check out chicagoparkdistrict.com and health.gov backslash move your way for more physical activity guidelines to incorporate in your life to get 60 minutes a day. There's also a ton of virtual classes and different short ways to stay active on the Chicago Park District website. On October 12th, we'll be previewing all of our classes that will be for the upcoming session. October 19th and 20th is the actual online registration for programs. There is hundreds of virtual and there are tons of online classes to take a look at. We hope to see you in your parks. Keep active and keep reading. Thank you. Hi, I'm Paco. That was so wonderful. I wanted to thank everybody for those great playful fun stuff to do. And I wanted to remind you, well, here, I'll come in and remind you. Thank you, Paco. Uh, remi remember, uh, we have our very special guest. We have lots more to come up today at 12, 32, and 4. Special guest Story Pirates is coming up at 2 o'clock, so set a reminder for that and check us out. There's a link to go straight into that Story Pirates program from here on the Facebook page or back at our Chicago Public Library page. Thank you so much. I'm so excited for Day of Play. Have fun. Get out and play today. And we'll see you later.